We got a new coffee maker! Well, 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 what is this contraption I do declare? So if you guys are new to the channel, we review all kinds of stuff on Amazon, a lot of coffee products. This is a new uh, French press from Bassa. This is the Bassa French press coffee maker. They claim this has four different filters. We've been using it for about four days. And yeah, technically it has two filters and, uh, and uh, let's see, our filter right here as well when you're pouring. And then down here, it also came with a stirring spoon. I don't know why it came with a metal spoon. Um, metal is not good for the glass, but this is a really strong borosilicate glass. So basically it's super tough. Came with a coffee scoop, two extra filters, which is great. And so yeah, let's get into making coffee. We got our ground coffee. I'm just gonna pour the whole thing in here. Woo, it's gonna be a strong blend. Here's the steel spoon. As you can see, it's good because it hangs on the side. However, it can mess up the glass. So I resort to using a bamboo skewer and that's my stir stick. Let's go get the water here. Oh my lord, oh my lord. Who's Michael? I'm Caleb Crawdad, I do declare. So I'm using a gooseneck kettle just off of boil and I just kind of slowly heat up the French press. You don't want to shock it too much. Typically what I do is I put the top on and just let it sit right there. So that way the heat doesn't escape. We're gonna wait for three minutes. A few minutes later. Here you press it. Is there a special way I have to do it? Or? Just go slow. There you go, the two finger trick. As you can see, here's the Ritual Coffee Maker. This one we reviewed a few months ago. It's made out of bamboo. So bamboo is great, but over time it discolors. So this is, uh, this is steel. So you won't have to worry about discoloring. The other part about this top is that it spins very easily. So you just want to make sure you're holding it when you're pouring. We've, we've made we've made tea with this French press. We've made coffee yeah. a few times. I don't know, Seems, the tea was good. I haven't had coffee out of it yet. Seems pretty well built. The handle is really, really big. Um, I don't, um, I don't, um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I like this logo. Whoa. That was stupid. What happened? It's very hot. So I've made coffee out of this twice, tea out of it once. It seems pretty well built. Um, I like how the, the glass can come out of here, and um, but I'm not a big fan of this logo right here. I'm not a big fan of that. I think this looks a little cheesy. cheesy. You think it looks cheesy? I do. So I don't know, that's just us. That's a cosmetic thing. As far as the handle, it's very sturdy. The top is very good. It seems to filter out the coffee pretty well. Um, I do like how the, like the bamboo on here looks cool on the old one, but as you can see, this has an extra filter, it has an extra one of these put on it and um, it's steel, so it's not gonna corrode over time. So that's a plus. Also, I think, I, I like the big handle. I think the bigger the handle, the better. But I don't know if it's a better French press, although it does come with a lifetime warranty, so if you break it, that's huge. Let's see how it tastes. So what's the verdict, babe? It's good, I mean, there's no grit in it at all, which is normally a problem when it comes to a cup of French press. I know with our other one, I definitely get grit. Uh, especially towards the bottom of the cup of coffee. Yeah. But even as it was pouring, it was coming out really clear, like there was no coffee grounds in it. So it does a really great job of filtering out for sure. I think this is gonna last longer and it still has a lifetime warranty. So there's a great, there's great value in that. Um, it's on Amazon right now for right around 20 something dollars. Click the link below to get one. And again, it comes with a few extra filters, a, a spoon, a coffee scoop. You really can't go wrong. A lot of these products I think are just, you know, it's just a no brainer. These are great for Christmas. And I think everyone needs a French press. So even if you don't prefer it, I think almost everyone in, in, in someone's family loves French press. So definitely click the link below to get one. And thank you guys for watching. Peace. Oh. So the verdict is I suck at making French press. We got a new coffee. Oh, the microwave. Why is it not focusing on? She's a cream girl. That was a very weird thing to say. <laughs> Reggie, we're trying to do a filming. Get, <laughs> go away. Because I balled it too hot. Balled it. Ball. Oh, ooh.